passes that ball and you force him to shoot those uncont those contested shots. Here is Trey. And he runs in the floater to start his night. Back to Smart. He'll fire. And short. One out rebound. Belongs to Trey and ahead of the pack to Pella. And these are the early offenses I'm talking about, Bob. That last time you saw Marcus Smart. In the first two in Boston. 43-42. Trey. Working against Hauser. Steps back. Let's it fly. That's big because, again, you saw Trey realizing that he has Sam Hauser on him. And he can't guard him. Trey gets around out. Left hand laying off the glass. And, Bob, I think that any chance that the Hawks perimeter guys can get Al Horford on the island. 70, 64. Here's Trey going up. High glass of good. Nice blow by, by Trey. Again, when you realize you've got Al Horford out there getting that defense and get some more stops. Ten threes for the Hawks. They had 21 in the two games in Boston. Here's Trey getting bumped and cut off by Smart. Steps to the side and connects. And also something to keep in mind, Jason Tatum got his hand squished between the rim and the basketball, and he's been holding on to his right finger and shaking it off a little bit. So something to keep in mind. In the middle of Smart, Marcus with Trey back. He's going right to the hole. for Marcus, 105-103. Here's Trey. Gets in. Shoots from 15 and connects. I love that by Trey, who was able to touch the paint. Trey. Transition screen from Sadiq, or rather from Akagu, and hits another floater. Hunter sets the screen. Horford on the switch. They come to double Trey. He whips the ball, pass inside to Hunter. 111 to 106. You remember there was a portion of the third quarter where they were able to pick on Sam Hauser. Again, great penetration oh, by Trey to finish. With the left hand. Time out, Boston. Lobs it into Murray. Got a Trey at mid floor. Going in on Al. Horford staying with him. Trey's got some room to operate. Doctor, 50 seconds left. White all over Trey at mid floor. Trey steps on the gas, floats it. Big That's bucket. it. Big bucket. Time out, Boston. Hey Trey, you, you and DJ just kind of took over that game, especially in the fourth quarter. Just how, as a as a backcourt unit, were you guys able to close this game out? Uh, I mean, we just took. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be the guards. It's supposed to be able to control the games and. Uh, I mean, we 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 consider ourselves two pretty good guards, and uh, we got to be able to control the games when we have leads, and um, especially at home, just try to uh, get a, get a shot every possession and get the right one. So uh, I think we did a good job tonight. We got to do it again Sunday. I know uh, Quinn was just talking about how much he liked your spacing as a team tonight, and how that kind of helped you guys take advantage of mismatches. Just what did you see from the communication factor, keeping your spacing, and being able to close it out as a team too? Yeah, we did a great job of spacing the floor and giving each other space and rooms and gaps. And I mean, that's that's what they do. That's why they're really good. They they got a lot of guys who can play, but those two guys, Jalen and Jason, uh, I mean, they're the two heads of the snake, and they got to. I mean, have space to attack, and they do a great job, and we're trying to do the same thing. And I think we did a really good job tonight spacing, and um, me and DJ did a good job of when we were getting to the, the lane, getting to gaps, and we still finding guys for shots too. So uh, we did a little bit of both tonight. It was good. Trey, they were extremely – over here. <laughs> they were extremely hot in the first half from three. What was the message in the second half to hold them to, I think it was like 30% shooting from three? I mean, some of the shots they were getting in the first half were kind of similar to the ones they got in the second half. They just missed some. So we were – I think we did a really good job from start to finish on contesting and making it tough on, tougher on their shots, I mean, all night. And, uh, I mean, they hit some shots early in the first half that kept them in the game. But um, as the game goes on, if you continue to, to contest and play hard on that end, it usually turns out in your favor. Trey, Coach talked about you and DJ and your leadership in that fourth quarter. You know Boston's going to make a run. What are those conversations like in the fourth quarter to kind of close them out? I mean, we all just tell each other to relax. And, I mean, we all know teams are going to make runs, and we're going to make runs. So uh, we just kind of tell each other to relax and, I mean, just get a stop and get a bucket or, or vice versa. So it's, uh, 
it's really just trying to, I mean, cool our team down and make sure we get a, a good shot or a stop. Uh, Trey, they say it's not a series until the road team actually gets a win, and you guys, of course, defend the home court this evening. Could you talk to me about State Farm Arena's atmosphere this evening and how the fans were rocking and kind of giving you guys extra motivation? I mean, yeah, it was great tonight. I mean, the fans showed up and uh, showed out tonight for sure. So, I mean, we're going to need them back Sunday because, like you said, the series don't start until somebody wins on the other person's floor. So we got to go back and take care of home on Sunday, and uh, th that's our main focus. But our fans showed out, and... Uh, they really helped us tonight. Trey, I think most people figured it would take a while before you and DJ to sort of figure each other out this season, each other's moves, and anticipate things. Could you just sort of talk about that process, and was tonight as good as you think you guys have felt together in any game? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's a that's a tough question. You, you, don't, you don't want to live in the moment too much. I mean, we won a game in the playoffs. That's big. But uh, we've had some really good games together, so I, I don't – I don't consider this our best game together. Uh, I think this is definitely one of them, but um, it came at the right time that we needed it. So, Trey, I know um, they mentioned that the team was just playing so good with just the energy being so hype. Can you just talk about just the, how you felt about just playing at home and just loving that crowd energy? I mean, yeah. I mean, the the crowd gave us a boost and an energy boost for sure that we needed. I mean, when you go on the road, you, uh, you try to – quiet the crowd and keep them as calm as possible. And we didn't do a good job in those first two games of doing that, but uh, uh, they didn't do a good job of doing that tonight, I mean, against us. So uh, I think we've got to keep that same mentality and be ready to play Sunday and uh, just just be ready. we got to turn up another notch because they're going to be come back with different adjustments and uh, different different style, I mean, possibly. So we got to be ready to, to take it up another, another notch. Trey, uh, after... What happened last year in the Miami series in the first two games of this series? You know, a lot of folks talking about how you had struggled in the playoffs and trying to get that going. Did you come in with a bit of a chip on your shoulder tonight? Is there some relief to have a game like this uh, after the past few playoff games? Uh, no, I mean, I know I can play like this. It's, like I said last game, I wasn't worried. Uh, I knew I can play the way I, I need to. It's all about reading and making the right adjustments. I mean, last year was last year in different situations. We didn't have our big man last year to start the series, so... Um, I mean, this is a different year, different series, different team. So, I mean, a lot of people talk about last year and all this stuff, but we're in a different year now. So we got to focus on our our our, uh, our team and our, and our path. Trey, not about the game, but pregame, I noticed you and your brother had a little thing going on with you shooting from the yeah. bench and then kind of smiling and doing push-ups. What was that about, and when did that start? Oh, no, we, uh, I mean... Whenever I compete, I don't, I don't compete for free. So whether it's money or it's push-ups, we always got something on it. And he, uh, he didn't think I could hit that sitting down shot, and I missed the first one. So I did my push-ups, and then we did it again, and I made him do some. So that's that's what it was. Hey, Trey, over here. Uh, how important was it for you guys tonight to not actually let them get the lead as you held on in the third and fourth quarter? It was important. I mean, we, we talked about it at halftime. We just wanted to, to take it up. I mean, obviously they came out hidden, but... I mean, we knew they were going to make a run, and it was up to us to stop it and go on our run. So, I mean, the NBA is full of runs, and uh, we just got to figure out how to stop them from making as many as possible and, and get on get on as many as possible as we can. Trey, two blocks for you tonight. I know you talked about using your speed on the defensive end. Just how did you channel that tonight? I mean, I just uh, sometimes it's good timing, lucky timing on certain things, and uh, – just playing hard is, is, is the main thing. I mean, defense is more about effort than anything and, and skill and talent. Um, I mean, Marcus is really skilled on the defensive end, but he really just plays hard and gives a lot of effort. And I think that, I mean, it shows. So I think that's what defense is all about. And I just try, I've been trying to do my best on giving as much energy and effort on that end as possible. Trey, with the, uh, I can't, with the uh, loss of your grandpa earlier this week, how much did it mean to you to have a big night tonight? Uh, it, meant a, it meant a lot for me, but uh, to be honest, my my grandpa lived a, a long, blessed life, and uh, I'm very fortunate to, I mean, have spent 24 years of my life with him. So uh, he he's watching over me, protecting my family and everybody around me now. So uh, it meant a lot to me to win, but uh, I was really focused on my team, and I'm uh, I'm just happy and blessed that uh, yeah I got to know him. So yeah, Trey. Well, how important was Sadiq Bay for you guys tonight? And really, what have you thought of him since he's been here and what he's provided? I mean, Sadiq's really good for us. I mean, he provides – he's smart. Uh, he can really shoot the ball. I mean, he plays with, I mean, a toughness about him that we all need on our team. And 
um, he's really good for us, and he's just a smart player, team first player, and uh, that's gonna that's gonna pay off in the end for sure for him. Yeah. Big play, big play, big play, big.